and welcome wonderful viewers this is vlog 109 in these vlogs i talk about coffee audio and other things that keep me busy so here's what's happening at the moment here we have the lin loudspeakers and these are there because these are here now normally over here and over here there would be the Lin loudspeakers and as you can see I still have the Noicom over here and I was playing the Piega loudspeakers on the Noicom but I could not quite decide what is it that I think of the Piega loudspeakers so I thought these are actually surround sound loudspeakers so why not use them downstairs which is this room and set the Lin loudspeakers back in the living room and give them some time to play because I do have a little bit of a problem with these Lin loudspeakers they sound pretty good, they sound neutral, when I'm using them downstairs they have enough bass that I could actually do without a subwoofer, except for of course you could not use the 0.1 subwoofer channel, but they could do without a subwoofer, especially in a small room like downstairs. But the thing I have with these Lin loudspeakers is that they keep sound sounding a bit what's the right word a bit lazy they're not so much muffled but it feels like the music really has to work to get out of the loudspeaker in comparison to the oscillias that i have the music just rolls out of there and you are just not aware of a loudspeaker being there and with the lin loudspeaker I don't really have that. Now I've noticed because I've been using them with all the different kind of amplifiers that has been in my house that power is the number one requirement. I've never played them with actual LIN equipment so that may be an experiment for another day but I do not have any LIN equipment so now they're going to play in the living room for some time and I'm going to play with the Piega loudspeakers and I can tell you I've been trying out a few hours now and this is a much better setup already than this setup with the Lin loudspeakers now I still have the Lin center of course and the Lin surrounds and the big difference because these not Lin but these Piega loudspeakers originally they are intended to be surround sound loudspeakers but they say well you can also play them for a stereo sound and I'm still trying to figure out if that is really true they sound very brilliant which is something that I like and this is not the same as being bright what I mean by bright is that they are too harsh brilliant means that they let you hear every detail crystal clear and as soon as that as I installed them in this setup the feeling of surround sound became much better there's much more awareness of having sounds on the side it's much more clear where all these sounds are and the integration with the surround sound loudspeakers even though those are uh, Lin loudspeakers was much better and the dynamics is much better so a gunshot now really has the bite that a gunshot should have and with the Lin loudspeakers it just was not there it's a very nice sound there's nothing wrong with the Lins but in this comparison the detail in the sound especially in the surround sound and placement in the surround sound sound stage is well immediately it was much better and these also need a subwoofer and I've tried them upstairs without a subwoofer 
because I like to try out loudspeakers on their own, not with a subwoofer or not only with a subwoofer. And of course, over here I have a Quake Rel subwoofer that is doing the hard work. The only thing now is that I would like to upgrade this AV receiver because I think a little bit more power for the Piegas would be even better. But for now I'm going to try out this setup for a few weeks and upstairs I'm going to try out this setup for a few weeks then I'll decide if I'm going to leave the Piegas downstairs or if the Piegas go to my girlfriend and if the lints are going back or not or when I keep the Piegas downstairs I'm going to sell these and pick up something new to show you guys. So the other thing I want to show you is that I picked up in the thrift stores and also online new a lot of new stuff and let's have a look at that. Okay, let's take it from the top. So over here we have a wonderful sealed cassette as in new in the box and this is from Sinead O'Connor. So I'm very happy to have this one still sealed in the box. Next one. Another cassette from Paolo Conte. This is called Boogie. Due note ritornello raggia nella pelle di quei due. Il corpo da 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 da. Quei due continua. Moving on to this one. This is. Lily was here from David A. Stewart. This is an edition that I bought as a CD a very long time ago when it came out. Some very nice songs on here with very deep bass in order to um, test out your system. And then the last from the cassettes is this one, Right Set Fred, with the cassette up. Um, of course, everybody knows this number. I'm too sexy for my shirt, too sexy for my shirt, so sexy it hurts. So I'm also very happy with this and I like the looks of this design. Moving on to this next one. This is interesting. I bought this at the thrift store 125 and this is a DVD audio CD. Is it a CD? No, it is a DVD that has high resolution surround sound on it. Something like an SA CD, but this is printed on a DVD. I've tried it. It works in my Oppo. It is also nice music. This is the first time and the only one that I ever found as a DVD audio. Sometimes you see them on the second hand market, but most of the time people ask crazy money for it. And a lot of the times they have a disc rot. They are not in the best condition. So very happy with this one. This is something you may all know, you may know the film. I grew up with this movie. This is one of my favorite movies and it also 
is lovely music that I like to play. Very interesting that I found this because of something else that I also uh, bought. Um, the Jungle Book. Some wonderful music. Look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. Wherever I wander, wherever I roam. Now I'm the king of the swingers, oh, the jungle VIP. I wanna be a man, man cop, and stroll right into town, oh, ooby doo. I wanna be like you. And then this one is a double CD with some Chopin played by Maria Jao Perez. And this is just wonderful Sunday morning music. It is in very good condition. I bought it second hand for a very good price. So again, something that I'm very happy with. Moving on to the Blu-rays, over here we have one that I have had for a very long time on DVD. This is Riddick with Vin Diesel, one of his first movies. A nice dark movie and I always wanted it on Blu-ray. So I'm always looking for this one on the second hand market but also on the websites that sell them new. For now I found this at a very nice price that I thought well I'll pick up this one. Also picked up this one which is you could say part two. So two Riddicks, very happy with that. Some animation from Pixar Inside Out and this is also the 3D edition I'm getting quite complete with my series of all the Pixar movies, well the one that I like, which is most of them, but also in the 3D version. And I just showed you this one, but I also picked up this one. You don't find this in Blu-ray on the second hand market. And when they are in the official stores they're mostly quite expensive but this was a day with big discounts so that is more jungle book picked up a dvd tv series i don't have many of those but sometimes especially for well, 245 it's not too crazy not as cheap as i would like but this is okay this is the bridge I love this series very much. So if you have never watched this one, make sure to have a look at it. I like this one. Okay, so here we have a book, something that I will never buy. I am not a big reader, but I found the Dutch edition of Alien. And of course, I could not let go of this one. This is just for the collection. One of my favorite movies and Maybe someday I will pick it up and see if I like the movie better or the book. But in Dutch, I don't know. But for the collection, perfect. And then I have two boxes. Inside these boxes are projects of Nordost. These are two power cables. And the reason that I picked up these ones, one, you can never have too many power cables. But also the guy that I bought the Noicom sets from, he is connected. So I got these new for a very interesting discount. So much that I could not let go and try and pick up some. This is a normal power cord. And this is also a normal power cord, but with a figure eight connection. This one is going to go onto my Blue Sound Note 2i. 
Okay, so this is what it looks like out of the box, especially because these are not as thick as the Oyaida cable cables that I have. So let's see if I can do a little bit better, more convenient cable management behind the rack. And if I'm opening them anyways, let me show you the other one also with the figure eight connector. Okay, so I showed you this one, I showed you this one. I did not plan it like that, but I also, on Craigslist, what we call Markplatz, I picked up this one, which is the Laserdisc version of Jungle Book. And very happy with this one. One of my favorite movies and to have them in the collection because the artwork is so big, so great. I love this. And the same things go for the other laser disc that I picked up. And this is, of course, The Nightmare Before Christmas. One of the best stop motion movies that I know of. I love this movie. And... I'm still looking for it on Blu-ray, but most of the time it's too expensive. But now on Craigslist I found the Jungle Book and the Nightmare Before Christmas. If you have never seen this movie next Christmas, make sure to check it out. Okay, that's all for today. Now let's get back to the vlog. Okay, so after shooting this video about all the stuff that I got, I thought, well, let's give you a little bit of a closer look into the power cords. So over here, you can see the three, the uh, Tsunami from Oyaide. This is the Purple Flare from Nordost, and this is the Blue Heaven from Nordost. As you can see, there is a big difference in size. As you can see, the twisting in here is different than in here. Now, of course, this one, because this is the one with the figure eight, has only two wires inside here, and this one, of course, has three wires inside here. So let's take a closer look at the connectors. So here we have the connectors on the Nordost, they're both the same and this is an official Oyaide connector. You can see on this special sticker that they put on there. These things just look nice, they feel, they feel very solid. And for the two Nordost cables, the difference is of course that we have the normal connector with the three holes. And this is the figure eight that you may all recognize. And something like a Blue Sound Note streamer will have this figure eight connection. And the main reason I picked this up is because this one is a very good cable, but it's very thick, it's very stiff. And this is a lot more flexible which will be perfect for behind the rack, as I just told you. Now, let's install this one. And here we have it installed in there. And right over here into the Neumann. And yes, I used this long before John Darko did. Got some on the quad cd player as well because this is what i'm playing with today until my itos system is rebuilt and the other power cable is connected to the blue note let's see if i can show you there you go and it moves over there okay and that's all for today today is friday i'm wishing you a very nice weekend and i'll see you in two weeks